Game two of the National League Wild Card Series coming your way on the show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Baltimore Orioles. So almost ready to get underway and getting the start. Kyle Bradish. What should we keep an eye on here? Leading Power here, pitcher. Here, He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. Mark and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. That one ripped left field. Back there. It's gone over the left field wall. Marcus Simeon goes deep. The Rangers score first. It's 1-0. Well, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Seeger stands in now. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals on the ground. And it finds its way through for a hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. He kind of rolled got over on this over. pitch a little but bit, but good. he got enough behind Thank it you. to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Pitch ball. misses inside, and that's ball one. one Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Next offering is foul back. One one now. They say you win. One, two. And the righty deals. Two, two. Seeger on at first. Nobody out. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark. And you help to quiet that down a little bit. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. At the play, Adolis Garcia on the ground to the left. And that's just foul. <laughs> to third, and it stays fair. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. out back our way and that's out of play at the dish looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot anything but the inning inning double play boot all in one now he swings and fouls one off one out runners at first and second ground ball could be two Tags the runner for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. 
And the home team down a run. This is the National League Wild Card Series on the show. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Leading off for the Orioles, the left fielder, Austin. Here comes a pitch. Hey. Right side. In plenty of time to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's Adley Rutschman. The catch hit. And first offering is fouled off. Line drive. Snags it for the second out. Anthony Santander at the plate. Not shortstop. Anthony Santander. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Ground ball up the middle. Simeon. Jump throw. That's out number three. Three up, three down for the Orioles. New pitcher now, Jack Flaherty. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. The line of the pitch. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's there, it's gone. And that is gone. He circles the bases, and they add to the lead. It's 2-0. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball right side, and that one handled. Now the throw to first on the run. One out in the second. Here's Josh Young. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mound. Whips it to first. That's out number two. Here's Leody Tavares. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Right-hander kicks, deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. In the dirt. Rutschman on to first. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And it's two zip. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Montgomery back to work. And that's no. downstairs and outside. Singing Ryan Mountcastle, a former first-round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me, though. He owns his own karaoke right. machine. And can I tell you, I've never done karaoke in my life. You got to try it sometime. Singy, what's your go-to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much to mention in this broadcast. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And here it comes. Swing and a miss struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, 
a little anxious. And here is Gunnar oh. Henderson. That clips the zone, oh, wow. and that's strike one. This one high in the air to left center. Tavares going after it. And a couple of quick outs. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get that through these good. first two innings with under no 20 way. pitches. Arrow. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Aaron Hicks in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Strike two. No ball. Two strikes. Two outs. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They trail things here. Two nothing. Top half of the third inning. Here, here is Marcus Simeon. The second base. The pitch. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one back there and off the base of the wall. Simeon into second and he's got a double. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Now it's Corey Seager. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Coming around third is Simeon. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're up by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. So, man aboard. Now it's the DH. Mitch Garver went down on strikes his first time through. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. one ball. Well, these Go Rangers start. doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. One more. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count one and one. And that's Three outside. One. Seeger gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And now it's even up. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Two two. And misses inside. That one hammered center field. That's back. And out of here. All muscle to center field. And they add on. It's five zip. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Tyler Wells into the game. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. Yeah, he's already singled in this game. That one to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the home run. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. He hit into a double play his first time up. Wells, in his third season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Popped up, and that goes foul. 
Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch inside. Now one and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. One down, base is empty. And now two and two. Back up the middle and a base hit. Man at first. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. He's already homered here in this one. And no, foul, foul ball. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. Out to center. And that'll fall for a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Runners at first and second with one gone. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And the 01. And there's a foul ball. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job of damage control right there. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. And the lead is now 5-0. Back now at Oriole Park. Set for the bottom of the third. And into the box for Baltimore. Jordan Westberg. First Got pitch doesn't find the zone. 1-0. Just Ball, missed. No. Now three, three. and O. Oh. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Three or a changeup. One strike. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Three Ball, one, four. and he couldn't Take come up with it. Oh, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike Ball. to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. On to Simeon. They get the double play. And just one out to go now. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Ramon Urias in the box now. No balls and a strike. No ball. One strike. And no. takes low for ball one. One ball. One strike. And a pitch. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. In the dirt. And that's it. Series over. They are off to the NLDS. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon. First for the victorious Rangers. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left four men on base.